Rockstar Games just released a new trailer, and sadly, it's nothing to do with GTA 6, but we're going to be talking about how it could be great news for the game. And this is great news for GTA 6 because Rockstar Games has never released so much drip feed. I mean, think of it. They released the Pizza Boy missions, the delivery missions to deliver pizza around Los Santos. They gave us a brand new vehicle, which I'm sure you guys are aware of. As you diss out the pies for cash and new pizza delivery, join the Pizza Delivery Community Challenge. Plus the new Vapid Dominator FX muscle car and the LS car tags daily collectibles and more that is like three things that rockstar games has released in like the next event week and that is insane because we've never seen them release so much before i mean they're usually only releasing like one thing in the drip feed well rockstar games have released the pizza delivery missions the gut pagasi pizza boy and they delivered the new vapid dominator fx which there's only one more vehicle in the drip feed left and then they also are doing the tag ls tags daily collectible which only makes me think of one thing they are getting ready for the next big thing which is gta 6 now i'm all for the pizza missions i have been waiting so much for these i love driving around in my pagasi pizza boy i'm delivering some of these pizzas it's really fun and the only thing that makes me wonder why rockstar games are doing this is because they're making it a big hint in gta 6 as well because as you guys know in the oldest game of ever vice city gta vice city there are pizza delivery missions where you're able to go to point a to point b delivering pizzas on one of the pizza motorcycles or the moped in vice city that tommy um their city can drive so that is i think that is why rockstar games are making a big hint because i feel like we're closer than ever to a gta 6 reveal i mean not even a trailer but even some screenshots images and more because of this like why would rockstar all of a sudden want to release all this drip feed knowing that they only have a few things to give out with this update when usually in a normal time they would just like release a little bit they wouldn't release all of it so it does make me wonder what big thing is going to be happening next, but I just wanted to keep you guys updated on that. No secret trailer from Rockstar Games about GTA 6, but there is big news, and I think it's to do with these pizza missions. Because as you guys can see, Vice City takes place where GTA 6 is going to be Miami, which is going to be the state of Leonida. And Rockstar Games are teasing that by bringing back an old game, the pizza delivery business that you could do in Vice City. So it kind of gives me an idea that Rockstar Games are preparing for a huge trailer very soon for trailer 2, screenshots, leaks, and more. So that is why it's great news for GTA 6 because the only thing Rockstar Games has to release is one more drip feed car and they pretty much are at the end of the drip feed until Halloween time. So it doesn't make sense. You guys could probably let me know in the comments down below. Do you think Rockstar Games is going to be giving us something huge? You guys let me know what you're thinking in those comments down below. If it's anything to do with GTA 6 or if we're going to be getting something big like a trailer, screenshots, etc. Because I do believe this is why they're releasing all of this drip feed at once. So they have time to get more news out for GTA 6. And I'm sure you guys are aware that the Take 2 Interactive earnings call on August 8th could give us some more information as well. As we know, they're going to have their Take 2 Interactive earnings call where they could potentially talk about some new things that would be coming to GTA 6. Maybe a new trailer. Maybe they'll kind of tease the official release date instead of saying fall 2025. So that is why I think it's going to be a big day for everyone when GTA 6 comes and more news from Rockstar Games as well. So more news on the agenda, so what exactly could Rockstar Games reveal at the Take-Two Interactive earnings call? Well, as we talked about before, they could reveal anything. I mean, we know that Take-Two Interactive are not going to be making... Strauss Zelnick literally said it's going to be Rockstar that makes the demands and announcements from now on. So once Strauss Zelnick actually gets asked previous questions at the Take-Two Interactive earnings call about GTA 6, I wonder if he's going to say, I'll leave that to Rockstar, and maybe Rockstar Games will actually talk about it on their Take-Two Interactive earnings call as well is because they're they partake in it or participate in it a little bit but they're not like the main people that are in the conversation it's mostly the public the general public and take to interactive and a couple other probably lawyers and a bunch of other staff members so that is the only thing i see because i don't think rockstar games are really there i mean i'm sure they're listening to it but i don't think they're there to answer any questions i think they're just there to listen to the meeting and let take to interactive solve that issue but like i said there's not really any issues with gta six but i feel like rockstar games could be more opened about it i mean like remember back then like my god i gotta remember it's like five years ago or 
maybe six or seven in 2013 they were very open about gta 5 when they wanted to say something big about a trailer was on their way they would reveal it and say hey guys something big is coming well rockstar games do not do in that anymore and i'm sure a lot of us agree that we would love to see the old rockstar games back because in the take to interactive earnings call they could reveal the official release date instead of saying fall 2025 they could give us like an estimate time or a date where the game is going to set sail and going to arrive or they probably would tease it with screenshots or more leaked trailers because all in all we still have to get another trailer and we talked about the pre-order dates that could honestly be coming this year september and october of 2024 so you can pre-order the game get it all ready and set to go and then you're ready to go when gta 6 arrives but we still have to wait quite a bit but i feel like we should be on the lookout for trailer too soon especially with this take to interactive earnings call as there's going to be a lot of questions about gta 6 and we'll probably talk about the sales and stock markets of gta 5 but we'll also get some more information about uh, GTA 6, you know, with the screenshots, leaked photos. I mean, there's a lot of stuff that still has to happen before the game is set to arrive. So I believe Rockstar Games will make that more clear at the Take Two Interactive Earnings Call, or even Strauss Zelnick might partake in a little bit and say, hey, we're going to leave those questions up to Rockstar Games, and maybe they'll tease something that's going to be happening in big. And I mean, we usually do a like game state, or if we have like PlayStation Play, where they always, you know, introduce new games. Hopefully, this this year maybe they'll introduce gta 6 in one of those playstation play which i would love to see that i'm sure a lot of us would be excited if we've seen something like that in the future because it really is a big deal that we're getting closer than ever before to gta 6 but once again i would love to hear from you guys in those comments down below because it does make sense why rockstar games are throwing all this drip feed out is because they are getting ready for something and i think it's their way of letting us know that GTA 6 is on the way and it's going to be closer than ever due to them teasing all of these and getting all these drip feed vehicles out because the Vapid Dominator FX, you have the pizza missions and you have tons of other ones like the LS Tag Team where you're like tagging. It's just, it's interesting. Like the LS Tags Daily Collectible, that's even out. So that's like three things out of one that Rockstar Games have done in the past where they've never done this. So it makes you wonder why exactly, what are Rockstar Games up to and what are their plans? Well, I think we just found the answer. They are getting ready slowly but surely for GTA 6 trailers, screenshots, etc. And they are preparing for the Take-Two Interactive Earnings Call to give us something big. But once I find out more information on that or the Take-Two Interactive Earnings Call, if there was anything talked about about gta 6 i will definitely keep you guys posted but anyway guys that is all the information i got for you guys on this video today if you guys did enjoy don't forget to like and subscribe for more daily awesome videos such as gta 5 gta 6 rocks games videos and all the upcoming videos that i'll be doing on my channel subscribe for more of those and of course i would love to hear from you guys in the comments down below do you think this is rockstar games teasing more news about gta 6 do you think it's anonymous or do you believe that there is something big going to be coming out where they'll reveal the release date you guys let me know what you're thinking in those comments down below and i would love to hear from you guys have you guys tried the new pizza boy delivery missions and what do you think of them let me know all of that in the comments down below i'd love to hear from you guys down there like i said guys stay happy healthy and well and i'll see you guys all later on the next video